so this weekend i'm actually seeing harry styles two nights in a row in denmark and i am so excited but it's been a bit of a mess but at least we're here now so we made it to gothenburg which is where one of the people that i'm going with lives so we're gonna sleep here for the night and then tomorrow morning bright and early we're gonna take the bus from Gothenburg to Copenhagen and then Copenhagen to this other island which is called Aarhus which is that's not the right pronunciation I'm sorry but that's where the hotel is so the concert is not in Copenhagen it's on the other island which is way more complicated it would have been so much easier if it was just like in Copenhagen or Sweden would obviously be so much easier but no he's not coming to Sweden he's just coming to Denmark anyway but yeah we were supposed to take the train which would be way easier and so much smoother but they decided to go on a strike which we just learned about so we had to rebook all the things like we booked this train for so many months ago and it all worked out so well but no they decided to go on a strike so now we are only taking buses to freaking Denmark yeah honestly it's been a mess and I'm not even sure if we're gonna get there but I don't care how we're gonna get there but one way or another we are gonna make it and that's all that matters like I just want to be at the concert I don't really care how we get there yes right now it is very late I'm so exhausted but we're gonna make some pasta salad for the trip tomorrow to Denmark. So now we're doing some pasta salad. Pasta salad. So here's our meal prep for tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. More yeah. wheat. Good morning. <laughs> Fresh. House. Here we have the bed for one person, but we will make it work for two. We walk in and we have one more. Oh my god. Another bed and a bathroom. Wow, look at the view. We made it! We made it! I actually <laughs> didn't think we were gonna make it here. For but some we reason, did. we did. Okay, let's go, let's go. my shirt for tomorrow i messed this side up i brought a a instead for a y so i got oops and this side we just got back from the restaurant and now we're gonna head to sleep because tomorrow we're gonna be in line all day and we got like five hours of sleep last night and barely anything on the bus so we're exhausted and our heads are like spinning because of the uh, bus drivers driving, driving skills yeah driving skills yeah it's like boom 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 we are sick. we are sick. hire tomorrow guys you should be so excited for us All right and we'll see you guys tomorrow if we make it out alive good night, good night. fuck the world <laughs> i love her spice So now we're going to the arena from our hotel, which is gonna take 30 minutes, and then we're gonna be in line for like 10 hours. 12. 12. Yeah. Okay, 10. I like that. So right now I am just walking around here in the concert area So this is where everyone's in line for early entry, which is what I have So there's not a lot of people here yet, which is so nice because there's no bathroom line, no lines for merch Like it's just amazing 
and yeah it's kind of nice as well like the weather is so hot it feels like we're just having a picnic you know i'm eating so much food keeping myself hydrated trying not to die from the sun but yeah so i'm just on my own right now because my friends have different tickets than mine we thought that we were gonna be in the same line but we're not but it's fine like i'm so enjoying myself just listening to podcasts chilling in the sun you know, everything that i was concerned about feels just released right now and i'm actually starting to take in that i'm actually seeing harry's eyes tonight and people here are so nice as well even though most of them are danish so i don't understand a word obviously but they're very nice and i found some friends <laughs> We just got back to the hotel and we are winning Eurovision. Yeah. Yeah. We are definitely winning. Mommy. We won, we won. We you won. You wish me up. Yeah, we're exhausted. Tired guys. Oh, if you cannot see it, and if you I can see, see it. Yeah. my like pretty. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> can you see it, guys? Because I <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. It is day two! And so today we have concert tickets again in the front section but we're not gonna wait in line so we're probably gonna be all the way in the back but that's what's fun so we're just gonna dance around and enjoy ourselves so.
and we are pretty far back, but that's fine because we're gonna have so much space to dance. Yeah, so there's the stage, and here are we. So we're still pretty close because we're in the front zone still, so there's people over there as well. Goodbye, hotel. We just said goodbye to our friend Cornelia who's going to Gothenburg again but we're going to Stockholm Everything just works out for us this weekend Like I'm yeah. so surprised everything went so smooth I swear this weekend went by faster than anything I've ever experienced before It was probably the only thing I could think about during that last concert which was also probably why I cried so much because I just wouldn't accept the fact that it would soon be all over like love on tour the tour will be over that was my last time attending love on tour probably if I don't find cheap tickets to go to freaking Germany or something but I really don't have the money for that especially after this weekend like I don't think you guys understand how freaking expensive it is for Sweden to be tourists right now like I may have spent way too much money but no regrets you know like that's the kind of theme for this whole trip money is fake money will come back Harry Styles won't and my teenage years will not I just hate the fact that it's so uncertain that I don't know when I will ever see him again Like I honestly can't deal with it because you never know with Harry freaking Styles Like he can just randomly disappear for like two years and you don't hear anything about him or what he's doing, where he is, when he's gonna go on tour again And I just can't deal with that like it gives me 
so much anxiety post concert depression is so real right now and i hate it it's the most disgusting feeling ever of concerts like it's the reason i don't even want to go to concerts but at the same time i just want to go to more concerts now because i don't want to feel this way of when concerts end i guess all good things come to an end and i have to accept that but i hate endings like i have so much separation anxiety it's crazy like i deeply understand people who travels the world to just go around and see harry every single night like i'm fighting that urge to just buy tickets to his whole Europe tour right now like that could literally be my only purpose in life just go to Harry Styles concerts every single night like I'm not joking there's literally no other place in this world where I feel as much happiness as I do in a Harry Styles concert like it's just an escape from everything else like I literally feel nothing else but happiness and just pure joy it's just the absolute best feeling to be around a whole community who has the same interest as you do if Harry Styles is an interest. Everyone is so supportive and nice and it's just such a wonderful community, honestly. So yeah, this weekend has, as you can probably tell, been the best weekend of my life. And I'm just so happy to be alive, honestly. Like, that, the thought that's been through my mind this whole weekend. Like, I'm so grateful to just be where I am in my life right now. Like, I never want to stop being young and being a teenager and I'm just very very grateful for everything I get to experience I love you Harry Styles if you're watching this and everyone else who was involved in this trip and everyone I got to meet and thank you guys so much for watching and being here and I'll see you guys in my next video